Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Leo. So first of all, Leo, shout out to you. Whoever you are, wherever you are on the planet, we love you, okay? In case nobody told you today. Uh, thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us. We really, really appreciate that. If you're going to claim this reading, please do it from your higher self and for your higher good only. And uh, if it doesn't fit, don't force it. Sharing is caring. If you need to contact me for any reason at all, my information's in the box below on how to do that. It's on you to reach out. Nobody on my end ever will. And lastly, could you please hit that like and subscribe? It's fun. It's free. It's entertainment purposes only. It's very, very important to us. We really, really appreciate it. It's positive energy you're expending in the universe. It's going to make you feel good. But whether you do or you don't, we are still sending you health, wealth, love, prosperity, abundance in every form to infinity and beyond. All right, let's hit this. Clear and ground for Leo. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Master, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective of Leo. Leo, we're working with energy. Energy is fluid. Anybody can be resonating in any one of their planets at any time. Also be mindful, we are in a very heavy retrograde. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody today, yeah? Yeah. Show me. Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. Here we go, Leo. Ten of Wands. Okay, over-obligated. Burdens, baggage, bullshit. Ten is the end, though. Maybe maybe too much. Maybe getting burnt out because somebody's on the struggle bus. Somebody has too many responsibilities. It may look easy. It may look easy to other people, but, you know, it's not. You make it look easy. That's what I'm hearing. You make it look easy. But, you know, here we go. Let's see. Show me. Leo. Now, you have an eight of cups. Walking away from this. Somebody's walking away. Maybe something is so, someone is so over-obligated and the struggle is so real, somebody's deciding to walk away to find their emotional happiness. Eight of cups, right? Something about a ladybug, perhaps. I'm seeing swans. Now, somebody could be walking like on a stone path. There's a king of swords at the foundation of the situation. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Somebody who had some kind of a bird's eye view or something. This could be somebody in the military, the law, but it doesn't have to be. This person is very clear thinking and reasonable, very articulate, very authoritative, okay? They could be even condescending. It's a manipulate. The king of swords is honest and direct, but they could be a manipulator. You got a two of pentacles crowning you, okay? Balancing yourself out. Being resourceful, getting yourself on solid ground, okay? Two of Pentacles talks about, you know, being very flexible. Uh, somebody could live in the city maybe and work, okay, somebody could live in the country and work in the city. Why do I keep confusing it? Somebody could live in the country and work in the city. Somebody just dresses very um, plainly. Somebody's not like a flashy dresser here. Anyway, all right, so we've got the King of Swords. You're balancing yourself out, walking away from something. Show me. Show me what's coming in that Leo does not see. Somebody could have been watching you do something here, Leo. Now, you got the King of Pentacles, okay? Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus energy. This is the boss. This could be a boss coming in to offer you a job, or this could just be somebody who is very stable. <coughs> the King of Pentacles is very dependable, disciplined, protective. It's a business person. They might have their own business. They might not. Financially stable. Somebody could be coming in, like I said, to offer you a job. Here. You have the Ace of Swords. Somebody's coming in to tell you the truth, okay? Now, it could be it could be this King of Swords or the King of Pentacles. That could be the same person, right? You're going to get the facts, the clarity in the situation. Ace of Swords. Somebody's going to give you the key to something here, okay? And I don't mean a physical key. I mean the key to something maybe that you've been wondering about or something like this, okay? If it's a job, like you're going to find out clearly that you're, that you're going to get it. It's positive. it's positive, whatever it is. All right, so in your an actual environment here, we have the Queen of Cups. Well, you know, I'm feeling like this could be you. Very um, loving, caring, kind. Male or female. Very emotionally balanced, calm, ca uh, compassionate, warm, supportive, a healer, affectionate. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy. Like, this could be a mom or a mom figure. Somebody likes to eat clams. War clams on the half shell, I'm hearing. Yeah, some kind of fairness and balance. All right, so justice. Libra energy. This is good. We like justice, Okay. This talks about some kind of um, karmic justice. Somebody's going to get some karmic justice here. Oh, God, I hope you're on the good side of that. It feels like it, okay? This is about truth, honesty. See, truth and honesty. It could be the law. This could be a, a, a judge here, okay? It could be something legal going on. I told you it's going to work out in your favor. 
Um, show me. Could have something to do with some of you for like some kind of a job or something. Oh, that's too many. We're not even going to look. Yeah, just give me one for final. And we'll clarify for Leo. One for the final. We'll clarify for Leo. Thank you. You got the seven of wands. All right, so you might be being a little defensive here. Maybe you're going to stand your ground or protect yourself. Maybe you feel like you need to protect yourself. Maybe you feel like there's some kind of competition in a situation. This is about, you know, the seven of wands talks about competition, perseverance, uh, defending yourself. At the bottom of the deck, you got three pentacles. Teamwork makes the dream work. Some of you discussed it, but you do have a ten of cups. Okay, you do have shared goals and collaboration with somebody. Some of you might be disgusted about something, though. Very apathetic or bored in a situation. Um, some of you like, some of you eating duck. I'm seeing a red brick wall. Somebody might have parakeets here. Listen, you have a ten of cups coming in. So this is all that counts, right? Emotional happiness, domestic harmony. Seeing a rainbow. Here comes a knight of swords. Somebody gallantly coming in straightforward. Could be, yeah, telling me something you don't know. Look at this here. It's going to call judgment. You're going to be successful and you're going to, so look, it's a reciprocated off of emotions, Leo. Okay, I'm telling you. This is all going to be good. Now, let's shuffle for you. So, so far you have uh, cups, swords, pentacles, and wands. So, the only sign that you have that's predominant right now is Libra. Show me, Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. Here we go, Leo. Oh. Show me the energy. Thank you. Top row. Let's clarify. Here we go. So you have a seven of cups in reverse. All right. Let's see what else. Somebody could be distracted here or overwhelmed by maybe too many choices. There's a lack of clarity and some kind of confusion, all right? This is what? Seven of Cups in reverse. Show me. What else? So, with that comes the Five of Swords. Somebody might want to win at all costs here. This is maybe confusing somebody, okay? Seven of, if I mean, Five of Swords talks about some kind of conflict, tension, disputes, hostility, stress, fighting, you know, backstabbing. Here, Nine of Pentacles. Oh, well, somebody's going to be rewarded here. I told you this, all right, for their efforts. This talks about stability, and this talks about some kind of security and achievement and luxury, materialistically, financially. It's being rewarded for someone's efforts. Like, you put in the work here, and now you get rewarded for it. Somebody could have backstabbed. Somebody could have been confused about some kind of betrayal. I'm getting betrayal with the Five of Swords. Wow, that's crazy. All right, so here, let's keep going. So here we go. Now, you have Ten of Swords. Yeah, look at this. The painful ending. The Ten of Wands and Ten of Swords. Somebody put some kind of a painful ending here. The Princess of Pentacles. Somebody who's going to be... Somebody who's dedicated and committed. Very reliable and hardworking. So they're going to get the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody's getting the Ten of Pentacles here. Thank God. Because these Ten of uh, Swords and this Ten of Wands sucks. Okay? I'm telling you right now. So it's some kind of painful ending. Somebody must have worked hard. And now they're going to get this Ten of Pentacles, Leo. Okay? It must have started as an apprentice feeling this like from the ground up whatever it was maybe they knew what they were doing but they had to start something from the ground up here's a nine of cups emotional fulfillment domestic harmony you have nine 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 megahertz nine 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 hertz this is your healing sound bath all right this is what is this this is shamanic healing this is archangel michael so some of you have archangel michael over your shoulder there's a four of torches that's a four of wands that's you know happiness stability celebration community four of wands talks it's aries energy for excitement um maybe some kind of reunion so it's gonna be a wish come true with the nine of cups you got the ten of pentacles the nine of cups and the four of torches that's amazing that's you know long-term legacy some kind of traditionalism, some kind of, listen, for those of you that want some kind of family and some kind of family life, I mean, you got it right here. You got it. It's right there. Three, six, seven, eight. Here, nine. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Good luck, good karma. Decisions that are going to change your fate of your destiny. It is your destiny. All right? It's Sagittarius energy. Let's move down here now. Show me. So now you got this King of Pentacles. Obviously, this could be you too, right? Because don't forget, you got the Ten of Pentacles coming into some kind of money here. Show me. Show me Leo. 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 Okay, Leo. Here, we're going to take them all. So, yeah. The tower. Some kind of surprise or shock. Something that you don't see coming. Uh, here comes the Queen of Cups. Cancer Pisces, the Scorpio energy. Somebody loving, caring, kind, warm, nurturing. 
Could be somebody very sentient. Don't forget you got, oh, it's King of Swords there, okay. All right, but listen, let me tell you something. This person could be a mother or a mother figure. What else do we have? The Three of Swords, oh, my own. So this could be some kind of emotional pain attached to this. This is like a third party situation. Well, we do have the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles here, right? Doesn't matter if you're male or female. Somebody might come out and tell the truth about some kind of a, uh, yeah, about the betrayal. Look, somebody cheated on somebody. Got the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords. It's some kind of betrayal, some kind of lies, cheating. Okay, now this could have been with a Queen of Cups, Scorpio specifically. And that's why this Ten of Swords is here, okay? Now you got a Six of Cups. This was somebody from somebody's past. All right, so somebody you were with or you cheated or is cheating now. I don't know what, with some kind of, possibly a Scorpio. This person could be from somebody's past here. This might have happened already. I don't know. It could be happening now. There was a serious betrayal here. All right? An emotional pain attached to this. And a painful ending. And somebody, somebody else, this could possibly be you, looks like they're doing okay now. All right? They started at the grounds up, like I said, and they having some kind of wish come true. They're going to have a ten of pentacles, financial success. Here we go. You got the ace of torches. Some kind of passion. Some kind of new match lit under somebody's ass of creativity, inspiration, and enthusiasm. All right? Yeah, two of pentacles. Somebody bouncing themselves out, getting themselves on solid ground, being resourceful and flexible. Somebody's completed a cycle. Oh, somebody's completed a cycle with having to be resourceful and flexible. Somebody's going to be sitting pretty right here, right now. Three, six, nine. With the Ten of Pentacles. It's a successful completion, okay? It's an accomplishment. Somebody can be somebody can be drinking. All right, let me see. I'm seeing the Leaning Tower. Somebody can be eating pizza. Somebody can be going to a stripper club. I'm seeing strippers again. Yeah, there's a Ten of Torches. Yeah, what am I telling you? The ends of, again, the ends of torches, the burdens, baggage, and bullshit. Something could be happening at night. Yeah, the stripper at night's working in the club. I'm telling you that. Anyway, you could be getting some kind of dream downloads, or maybe you can't sleep at night. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe because you're worried about competition or something like this. So Something's happening at night. Some of you could be up looking at the stars. You could be out walking around. Maybe, you, you know, like I said, you're getting downloads. You could be suffering with insomnia. Yeah. In the morning, look at this. So... Maybe you're getting dream downloads and in the morning you're waking up with some kind of like enlightenment. You see what I'm saying? Maybe you're going to wake up and find out something's burning again. So I'm seeing like the, the ground burning. Pockets of fires all over the place. Something about a sunflower. You could be you could be getting some news in the morning. It could be in the it could be at nighttime but in the morning like at 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning when it's still dark but technically it's the morning. Somebody could be waking you up out of sleep or something. Somebody could be out looking at the moon. Here, yeah. last but not least, you got the Princess of Swords. Somebody direct coming in. Somebody, okay. The Princess of Swords is somebody very curious and opinionated. They are focused and daring. They're straightforward. They, you know, somebody could be watching somebody here. Somebody could be contacting somebody very directly with some kind of truth. Here, yeah, you got the Three of Torches. So that's the Three of Wands. This is about foresight, momentum, confidence, growth, leadership, and looking ahead. So somebody's taking the lead here. You know, they say it's about waiting for your boats to come in, but really, you know, it's not so much about the boats coming in, but about you know what boat you want to get on when they do, right? So you got the Hermit. Do some inner work here. Um, Virgo Energy. This is about um, self-evaluation and reflection, okay? It's about spending time in solitude and getting closer to the source, becoming the wise old sage. Using all your uh, wisdom from your experiences and everything that happens to you in life for a positive outcome. Ace of Pentacles. There is a new, a new opportunity here. So that's really good. Looks like it's going to turn you into the Empress. All right, Leo. So we got this. This looks pretty good. Let's get you some kippers. Thank you again for hitting the like and subscribe. I gave you your binaural beat, your healing. There's a mature man here, number five. This man is well-dressed, well-read, and well-traveled, Okay. Man could be older. Somebody got gray hair and like a gray beard or not beard, but like furry face. What do they call that? I guess it's a beard. It's not a beard. It's not like it could be a beard. Whatever. Here you go. There's somebody being a false. Yeah, there's somebody wearing a mask. Now this could be a mature man doing this, or you know, number eight. Or this could be uh you could be somebody around you with with a false mask on here. There's a mature woman. So we got the mature woman, the mature man, and somebody's being false over here. You got six, eight, and five. Show me, somebody could be 56 here. Somebody could be 65 here. You also have 
Privileged Lady, 12 and 3. Show me. Does it make it out like a little greenhouse? Or this is a new pathway opening up. Leo, this is your energy, 35 or 8. Anything else, Kipper? Light at the end of the tunnel and butterflies represent rebirth. Anything else? It's going to be a change. Some kind of official person. This could just be an official person in your life, 22 or 4. Some kind of change. Somebody's thinking about somebody very heavily. Somebody could be 61. There's 7, 8, 9. You got about 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 here. Somebody could be an artist, a graphic artist, or some kind of an artist. Somebody could also be the military of the law, or they're just, you know, some kind of an official person. Maybe, like I said, there's a new community, great fortune. Somebody's going to court somebody. Somebody's concerned. Looks like it's all good, Leo. I got to be honest. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Something's going to be fair and balanced here with this justice card sticking in my face again. Here's the love oracle. Here, you have surrender. At times, we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go, and it will all work out. Okay? Thank you so much, Leo. Always remember, leave it logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy, and trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light, guys.